Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain steady state error with unit ramp input. Not only that, I will also calculate steady state error for type 0 system, for type 1 system and for type 2 system. So let us identify steady state error with unit ramp input. See here input is ramp input and we have negative feedback system. Input is R of S, ramp input means 1 by S square. Steady state error is based on error signal. So one should know what is error signal. Error signal is R of S divided by 1 plus G of S, H of S. And that I have already derived in my earlier videos. See, I have derived that error signal for negative feedback that is R of S divided by 1 plus GSHS. Right. Now, using error signal, we can identify steady state error where this R of S that is 1 by S square. Now, let us identify steady state error. Steady state error is limit S tends to 0 S into E of S. Here we have E of S that is 1 by S square divided by 1 plus GSHS. So here you can observe this 1S that is getting cancelled. So we can simplify this further. So in denominator we will be having 1S. So 1 divided by S plus S into G of S, H of S that one can say. Now let us further simplify this. So we can take this limit inside with numerator and denominator. So in numerator we will be having 1 only. But in denominator if you place S tends to 0 then this will be 0. Plus we will be having limit S tends to 0 S into G of S, H of S. Right. And this term that is velocity error constant that I have already explained in my earlier video. Velocity error constant kV that is limit as tends to 0 as g of s h of s. Right. So if you place that then we will be having steady state error that is 1 divided by kV. Right. So steady state error with unit ramp input that is 1 divided by kV. Now I will explain calculation of steady state error for type 0 system. See with type 0 system we have 0 pole at origin. So here we have 0 pole at origin. So what is open loop transfer function of system? Open loop transfer function of system is G of S H of S. Here we have 0 pole at origin. So that will be K into S plus Z1, S plus Z2 and so on. And in denominator, we have zero pole at origin, means it will be S plus P1, S plus P2, and so on. Now, let us identify velocity error constant, that is limit as tends to zero as G of S, H of S. So here, if you observe S multiplied by this, that is there with us. So if you place S is equals to zero in this, then this entire term, that is getting multiplied with 0, so it will become 0. So, velocity error constant is 0 and I have explained you steady state error with unit ramp input that is 1 by kV, right. So, here steady state error is 1 by kV, 1 by 0 means it is infinite for type 0 system, right. Now, I will explain steady state error for type 1 system. See with type 1 system we have one pole at origin. If you have one pole at origin then open loop transfer function of the system will be G of S H of S and that is appearing like constant K into S plus Z1, S plus Z2 and so on. And here we have one pole at origin means in denominator we will be having S and then few other poles could be there like S plus P1, S plus P2 and so on, right. 
Now we will identify velocity error constant that is limit s tends to 0 s into g of s h of s right now here if you substitute g of s h of s then what will happen if you substitute g of s h of s then this s and this s that is getting cancelled so you will be having k into s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on and in denominator we will be having s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on right where if you substitute s is equals to 0 inside this then you will be getting k into 0 plus z1 0 plus z2 and so on and in denominator you will be getting 0 plus p1 0 plus p2 and so on right means this is somewhat constant right this is somewhat constant so you will be getting steady state error and steady state error with unit ramp input that is 1 divided by kv where kv is constant so steady state error is also constant right now i will explain steady state error for type 2 system see with type 2 system we have two poles at origin so here we have two poles at origin so what is open loop transfer function g of s h of s that is constant k into some zeros will be there like s plus z1 s plus z2 and so on and here we have two poles at origin means in denominator we will be having s square and some other poles could be there like s plus p1 s plus p2 and so on right now we will identify velocity error constant that is limit s tends to 0 s into g of s h of s now here if you place this g of s h of s then in denominator we will be having 1 by s and if you place s tends to 0 then 1 by s that is resulting into 1 by 0 means it will be infinite so kv will be infinite over here and as if kv is infinite then steady state error that is 1 by kv where kv is infinite means steady state error will be 0 so steady state error with type 2 system that is 0 steady state error with type 1 system that is constant and with type 0 system it is infinite provided we have unit ramp input right now in next video i will explain calculation of steady state error with unit parabolic input still if any confusion is there then just post that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video